I have 12 grams. So Homie this is got why I can't it. record and stream. No, it's fine. I got it. What is turned on the quality voice? This is this is Clay Machine. He oh, was that's why it's at 1080. Clay Machine was okay. Eric and I's one of our old coaches, and he was really bad at coaching. And then he stopped being a dickhead, and now he's good at coaching. Yeah. So he's I coaching. Clay. <laughs> I used to be really bad, and then I and then and then like four months after I left them, I decided, hey, how do you what have 20 if... FPS? And then I said, what if I decide to get smart? And then I became smart. And then and then like three months after that, I decided, hey, what if I actually learn how to coach properly besides being smart? And then I figured out how to coach properly. Oh, this and is that the brings kid, us. This is the kid that groomed that monolith groomed. Oh, um, uh, actually, no. I learned. I learned. I monolith helped me before I understood how to be a like. He helped with how do I spec properly and what rough information am I looking for. And then basically two two months later, I just I threw all of his shit out the window, and and watched one J Venom scrim, picked up a bit of his coaching style, and then developed my own based off him and my own personal preference. Yeah, Mono, um, Mono was supposed to be our coach, but um, we got screwed over by the esports club like funding, and Mono. he doesn't have time enough time to do it for free. He can only pop in no. once in a while. I'm I'm LFT right now, so. Well, we can't pay you, so. <laughs> I I know. I'm just saying. I'm. Oh wait, Psycho, so you're own. you're a, you're a flex DPS or are you a hit scan? Me? Like, That's hit scan. Yeah. So okay, wait, whatever. Future? I'm gonna hop in the VOD, so I'm not super late to the trial that I'm supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you can start. I uh, say, I just wanna... ref when we're gonna when we start doing stuff, um, like six man and stuff, uh, Marco, we're gonna do like. You're gonna play the Reaper and the Tracer and shit. We're gonna put Race on the Sombra because Race is really good at Sombra. And if you, I, if you're not comfortable on Sombra and stuff, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can, I'm not really good. I, you can, I assume you're on the team on the right because that's the one with Dino. Yeah, you can play the Brain Dead. You can play the Brain Dead Reaper in that comp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Sheesh. First off, um, I don't really like uh, this on this map because no matter where you go, Moria can't f help you. And most teams just kind of like sit up here with their back line. So like, what 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 can you do if your Moira just sat on the low ground? Like, we, we're just gonna sprinkle from here. We just we saw the comp and we just called like, let's just sit on point. Yeah. So that's like the rough and why I don't like this comp on this map. But who who understands what the benefit of this comp is? Does, this, does anyone want to say? Like, what's the main reason to pick this comp over like a rush? I guess shoot up normal rush. Oops. Hmm. What? The, what? You just mean the torp? No, like this comp over like a ship like Ryan Diva Mega. Oh. Like what's what does this comp offer? Like why is this comp this comp? You can you can take high ground better and you play faster. I was talking about not what. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yes, but this comp's not meant to be a dive comp, so like getting to high grounds isn't really the option. It's mm -hmm. what is this comp good at? It's good at rotation. Not getting booped. No, it's 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 a comp that's really good at rotations because you have speed, you have damage, like your diva does DMs or rotate, and then you have a shit ton of mobility. So your comp is a rotation based comp, right? Where you rotate to a spot, like vroom, and then from here you decide that oh we could just make it to ball. And you're really good at avoiding spam damage by having good rotations, and then a lot of up close burst by just getting in there, right? And then you have really good ults that just win you fights. So rotating ults is very key. So that's kind of what this comp is about. So, yep, I'm gonna head right into the actual vod though. All right. Um, it's gonna turn on this, and then can someone tell me what's wrong? We're all spread out. What? Sorry. I feel like we're too spread out. Like you know, you said we're good at rotating, you know, as a team, but we're too spread out. We really, we weren't really focusing anything. Mhm. Mm yeah, I would agree. 
your comp is uh, that you're definitely way too split. But this comes from a lack of understanding of what the hell to do. What do you think would be the best option as a comp? Anyone? I think Wait, since they have a farmer suit. Like, 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 okay, like you could, you could honestly like say fuck the whole entire map and look at the two comps and say what do you think you should do? Fucking run into auto. I think we should run into point because they have like a dive comp. We can't dive inside the point though. Um. So a fire mercy so it provides cover as well. Yeah. So you said one said get the Ana, the other said get the point. Both are viable options. We've seen the, both the only teams. thing with Ana, the Ana is we don't know where she is here. Yeah, that's why summer is really good because you get so much information. So both of those valley, both those options are very solid. You've seen teams do both. I did an Overwatch League analysis of Shock. They were on a comp like in a, it's a very similar matchup ish, very different but very similar, where they played passive, just sat and then decide to rush, which is definitely viable for you. And then there's teams like, mm, I don't really know a good example. We just jump right into the other Ana and say, "Welp." And so, either one of those are good options. But whoa, someone, everyone's a bit confused, right? So this is why I'm not calling splitting issue. I think splitting issue is like a band-aid term, because there's a reason you're split, and it's because you have no idea what the hell to do in this situation, right? So next time, pick an option. If you see their Ana, say, "Get the hell on their Ana." If you if you realize, oh, we can't do anything, call to call to stabilize behind natural cover, right? Because like, if you stabilize on the open, you're screwed. So natural mm -hmm. cover is good, and so yep, points good too. So yep. All right. So at the end of the day, what is your comp? Like, there's one word that I'm looking for. What type of comp is it? It's sort of brawly with a torch. It's a, it's a rush e. comp. Yeah. It's it's a rush comp. So there's a point where their comp benefits from having their fair be able to take the perfect angle, their ball chaser to do exactly what they want. They're on there to set up exactly where they want, right? And so to this point where you have them in a good spot for you, right? So you're forcing point, and then look at them. Their diva just boosted right into you. Their Moira, their their fair is sitting on the floor. I think she has no jets too. Yeah, she has no jets. Their div, their their their, divas, their divas right here, and you guys decide to sustain. Right, so this is the point where you see teams like Shock start aggression. The diva, the diva's right there, no boosters. The fair's right there, no boosters. Bam, that's that's a switch switch that you have to flip to go. Like, right here is, is, I think, where you should lose this fight. Because you back up and try to sustain, and now they're able to just do exactly what they want to do, right? And But instead, I don't know, their chaser kind of feeds. Their fair, that's nice forcing out of their fair. But they, they, they're just bad. At this point, <laughs> like, ha, your more is, like, not unpressured, but, like, she should have died by now, right? By the ball chaser and fair spam. But somehow she hasn't. So at this point, you let them make too many mistakes to go in. You didn't look for an opportunity to go in. You let them made a, make a, like a very clear mistake and then do something, right? So that's why I think you're playing too slow to the, at this point. And you know what? It's okay in the essence of learning is what scrims are for, to maybe go a little too soon. And you might feed. That's okay. But then at least you're looking to be proactive. You guys are right now being very reactive, which isn't good. All right. Let's talk about staging. Let's let's bring it back to to how your comp wants to play. It kind of just wants to run in most of the time, right? You want to set up. You want to start around natural cover, so they can't really just farm you for free and you just die in open space. But your comp at the end of the day, as I said, is a rush comp. So where do you think staging would be an op? Like where do you think optimal staging would be? In your scenario. On the on the health pack on the right. Under the cover. Here? Cave, cove, whatever. Here? Cave, cove, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. I call it cave, cove. Cage. Cage is the name. Um, Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not great because Ball Chaser just forces point. Personally, this is why I hate this comp, but like, staging here wouldn't be horrible. Um, 
How are we getting, you know, honestly, Mo- how we getting Moira like, up? How are we getting Moira you, up there though? You could actually there's a rollout. I think you go off this tree. Um yeah. Or this bush. You could you could definitely hit it though. I've seen it. Um but like if you're more I could be up here. I'm saying like, you know, I'm not saying this is the good spot, but the information I want to give is this would be a good spot because a, you have natural cover. You're not going to get easily forced out. And then and we, B, as soon as they try to do anything, yeah, you can easily closer. rush onto them, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's more something... of, like, Mike, right now, I feel like I'm going to teach you guys the ideas behind things and not micro-pick your mistakes. Because what's the point of micro-picking mistakes if you didn't know what you should be doing in the first place, right? Like, it's the splitting issue. I could say, oh, you're splitting. But, like, I need to think, why are you splitting? Like, why aren't you staging, like... Why are you just sitting back on point? Like, but no, yeah, this isn't the best option, but at least I'm teaching you a better option. Like, or like the understanding of a better option. Um, so yeah, the, once again, I just don't like six man on this map, but like, even playing here. What would you, what would you run yeah. on this map? A ball thing or like a Rissa Diva shit? You run monkey, if you want to stick monkey, it's monkey, diva, on a brig, echo chaser. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you could either an Ash Tracer and like, but like, yeah, Mercy Echo, Mercy Farah, but like, definitely, definitely run on a comp. On a comp, very good here. Um, so yeah, but like right now, right now, this brings back to the point that I said like five minutes ago, right? Like, what is wrong with this position? Like, what does it enable the enemy team to do? Which I was talking about earlier. Does anybody else want to talk? Yeah. Are we the What's only two people here? Alright. I said, what, what does this position enable the enemy team to do that I was talking about last fight? Uh, I guess. I mean, like, it's easy for them to pressure us out. I mean, you have a lot of natural cover. Not really the answer I was looking for. I was looking for the exact words I think I used is take angles and do exactly what they want in terms of setup. They literally, like, okay, their fair gets perfect free space, perfect angle. Like, what are you going to do to contest their ball chaser as they set up behind you, as you're just eighth king up point? What are you going to do to stop the Ana and Diva from getting exactly where they want to do? The answer is nothing. Right here, you just sit them and you let their fair take angles. You let their ball chaser set up. This is not a proactive position. This is a reactive positioning. And this is why I don't like it. Why isn't there a diva come DM? Two seconds, slowly. Yeah. I mean, what do you think would be happen in this fight if you staged? To be aggressive. Then maybe their Moira, maybe their fair only is able to call your, sorry, maybe their fair is only able to nano barrage your Moira who's laid on, who's just stuck on a rotation. As your team's aggressive, maybe you kill Ana and Diva, and then maybe you walk back to point, only two dead or something, right? But instead, they get the perfect engage off. Like, this is the worst perfect engage I've ever seen, but they get the perfect engage off of you. So they're able to win the fight before before you literally do anything. Like, look look at this. You have the best engage order in the world, Coom, which is amazing. You could even engage a bomb, which to bomb pharmacy, which is pretty good in this comp. And then you have beat. Like, and why why aren't you engaging? You let them do everything they want to do to you without really a fight. All right. That makes sense. Mhm. Mm can we still engage the same way with the Torb, or or would does it just not matter? Like, would it be better with Sombra? Uh, it's 100% better with Sombra, because what yeah. does Som Sombra do that Torb can't? Go invisible! Move! No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's yeah, literally move. Your know, Torb will be caught out on rotations. It's the same reason why running Kree in 6-man is bad. Of course, Torb is 10 times harder to exploit than Kree. Like... He's just like, what will he do? Like, Sombra. Now, Sombra's a really good hero.
Oh, that's when he lagged out. Who lagged out? You? The ball, their ball lagged out. That's mm-hmm. how he died. Forgot about I'm just wondering. Let's look. At, let's look at this fight again and tell me what do you gain from what you do? Like, let's talk about how you win fights. How do you win fights? You have to kill people. You have to cover angles so you don't get spammed out. I don't know. Just what do you do to actually win this fight? Because I feel like you do nothing. But we we could talk about it. Like, what are the win cons in their comp? Like, right here. What are their two win cons? They have two. Very clear ones. The rolls. Um... Yes, but not really what I was looking for. Two two things. Yeah. What? Their their win con is just against our whole team? No, they they have two two win cons. Uh, uh, juicy pulse. Well, the, they wanna they wanna slow down our rotation by it's, diving. It's not up. ult related. I'm talking about they, right now. They wanna slow they wanna slow our rotation down and get resources um, out when we're trying to catch go. someone on the kind rotation. It's more punish rotation. No, their win cons right now are their Ana sitting uncontested on high ground. And their Farah, who's just doing Farah things. Right? Like, this rotation where you just sit on point, does it del- does it dislodge and punish their win cons? Like, do you, like, let's be real. Is their fair gonna, if their Farah's getting max value this fight, she's just gonna sit on an angle, and their Ana's uncontested. Those are two things that will carry a fight. And you don't do anything to stop them. Right? Okay, well your diva your diva's pretty good. She she goes for fair, right? But fair just shoots away and then why isn't she coming from the side and spamming? I don't know. This fair is really bad. But but like what once again, look, their Ana's just getting max value, just sitting there uncontested for the whole entire fight. And then you just lose because they're just able to like not get punished. Like that's their whole comp. Their whole comp is gonna surround you and make you sit there and you have to be like and there you're just like what the hell? But, like, you don't make an attempt to win this fight, in my opinion. Like, what do you do? You rotate point with Cole and Coom. Okay, you get point control. But, like, point control doesn't matter if they have three angles on you and they're uncontested, right? Like, I, this is a losing position, in my opinion. Like, if the Pharaoh was good, she would be killing your Moira, but she's not. Um, hmm? Um, yeah. If your fair some this more somehow never does this fair, which is just like them being bad. And then like, as I said, no, just like, okay, bomb. I mean, but like, yeah, it's just that's just bad. Like you, you do nothing in my opinion to win that fight. You get the point. Cool. Now what? Um. So, no, but okay. When when we when we. We'll dive on Anna in the back line. What do we do when their whole team peels? Because their whole team can peel. Well, you have Cole and you have a Diva. So if you're if you rotate around, like this is what I would do in this circumstance. Mm-hmm. I would rotate around this way. Yeah. Jump their high ground and have my Moira here calling. Right? Their Anna's dead. Then their Farah. Then their Farah is like, oh woo. Cool things, right? But then your D.Va flies after Mercy, and to, to be able to kill a Mercy with Cole, that's so easy. Like, their Pharmacy is just dead with Cole. Like, their Mercy will not survive. And then, and then with, and then, and then you just kind of win, because their Bull Chaser spam shouldn't be too much. Like, okay, beat if necessary, or maybe you take your Cole away to heal your team. But, like, at the end of the day, I don't think Bull Chaser are going to carry that fight. Bull Chaser D.Va. Like that's a better scenario in my in my eyes. Do you see why? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because you're just by by going point, you're just putting the ball the ball into their court, which is something I'm highly against. Like I have teams that like like in tier three that I've gone and guest coached that will just like win like literally like full hold, and then I would yell at them for just letting the enemy team making mistakes instead of actually winning the game. And this is the playstyle that you're showing me. Like, none of this shows me that you're trying to make an attempt to win. It's showing me that you're capitalizing off their mistakes. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe uh, maybe that's winning, but no, it's not good. Yeah. It's not it's not actually a, how you win of, the game. A lot of times when we a lot of times I think why we're winning is like uh exactly what you're saying. We we kind of just capitalize on mistakes and then I think just mechanically we're better. Like we have a few. I agree. That's what I tell my teams too. That I said, and, okay, but, you just let them make mistakes, and then yeah, you but it's it's frustrating. Win. I mean, I I don't know how much more time you have, but I wanted to look at like a brawl map. Um, I don't know how much more time you have, but I wanted. To look Do you want to look at more Ilios or? Well, I wanted to. What I really wanted to look at, I wanted to look at Ilios um, ruins because we got thrashed on Ilios ruins, and uh, that's one that I. This is we run the funny fire and ice comp here. It's just this the, we were playing with. So this is the this is like a just the bad comp L. Nah, this comp is fun. It's so shit. They're mirroring for multiple it. Multiple reasons. They're mirroring it. Yeah, let's see. You're in four K scrims, bro. We're in L. A, we're in three point five K scrims. This is 3.5k. This, you know. this is no, I'm saying no, I'm going to make it worse. This is 3.5k and our team our team average is like 37 and we still lose. Sick, sick. That's why that's why you win. <laughs> that's yeah, that's why no, you no, win. No, we don't How win. is our we team lose. average 37? No, our because Zach's Zach's 4k um Do you have a turbo race, TT? Zach's 4k, race is 4k. I'm 37. You're three five. Juice is like three four. Brad, Brad, is this guy a Torbo TP? No, he just likes Torb. Can we get him on other heroes or no? I don't yeah. really care. No, we can, no, we yeah, yeah, we could. Okay, then I think you should get on like more. Uh, I'll say common variations of a uh, six man. Um, he actually has a really good Sombra. I don't know what was wrong with him this day, but he was just. Oh, it's fine. All right, their comp is Loki counter comp. How are you supposed to play this? Like, what what is like your win con in this comp? There's like there's like okay, I mean it's it's there's there's like three things I'm looking for. I'm looking for a how to engage, b how sorry, one what tool do you use to engage, three how how do you play in terms of like map geometry and I... positioning, and then. And then three, who are you engaging on every time you engage? Those are I three things like, I'm looking I for. feel like the only I feel like the only thing that we could do to win is just farm coal and go on them with coal. So that's that's how to engage and how to win. The coal, you just win. If you play first fight somewhat defensively, using the answer to number two, then then you just build coal and then you win. Maybe you don't win first fight. But you sure as hell win second fight if you do number three properly. So what's my second one? You got the first one is you do want to play for Cole. The second one is how do you where do you play in terms of map geometry and like we like, kind of just want to rotate around them. I would say you want to play somewhat close to them to yeah. build ults, but you want to be playing behind natural cover. What is one thing that the comp heavily surpasses you on? So if you're in open space against that comp, what will happen? They're gonna you lose. Oh god. They're gonna shoot you and then walk forward and you will just lose. So in right? this exact scenario, where should we go? Like like I would rotate around and here? I would play like right, right here. here. Okay, that's what because I Because you know why? You know, yeah. can you tell me why if you play right here, get some cleave, get some poke? Tell me what happens when when they start to walk out right here. Um, like, if you sit here right here, what does this create? If you sit right here. If that, they walk forward. That is what we in the business call a kill box. That is what we call a kill box. <laughs> so that's exactly what you should be doing. And then what's what's uh what's the third thing? Who should you engage on every time you engage? There's a clear option. Is it Ryan? The Haitian. Yes, it is the Haitian. It's their BAP. You could hack Diva, hack BAP, do whatever you want. Yeah, no, something that but we need to stop doing in six man is we we dive the tanks a lot. Six man is not a tank kind of comp. We have so much mobility. Nine out. Why not kill we the backline? We just run past it. We run past. We pretend their tanks aren't there. We run. Past I mean, tanks. yeah. Honestly, yeah. You have coal. That's why you use coal as an engage. Because if you pretend like their tanks aren't there when you don't have something to sustain, you will lose. So 
uh, Gino, do you think it's like good to watch Vestas, or do you think that's all you need to know? Well, we kind of just lose first fight and then get steamrolled because it's two CP and they just alt alt. You mean, just... it's not 2CP. I mean, Control. not 2CP, my bad. It's cough. Dina, so... you're doing something a little creative. How do you die over here? I forget what I did. Nah, it's called inting. L. Dude, are you surprised that I ended? Yes. You shouldn't be. I'm the int man. You should You should watch a, You should watch 30 seconds of well, like a five environmental kills. Nice. That's, that's the int, baby. Not against, dude, against Crab Mafia, you got like eight, bro. Yeah, dude, I was based. That's when we were plat. <laughs> yeah. The good old days. I got my new peak uh, yesterday, but even before then, I peaked higher than you, El Shida. Your old. What's your peak? I got it yesterday. What is it? It's uh, <laughs> 3861. Oh! Mine's thirty-seven sixty-one. Uh, L L L L L. Okay. This is why summer comes in handy too. Best ult in the game. Um. Also, scouting. What does scouting allow? What does it help on your engages? It's a pretty answer. Uh, we pretty obvious. We know where it is. Yeah, you know where the target you want to kill is. Like, wow. Like, so helpful. Um. All right, there's an issue with how you're playing, right? Yeah. And then I'll play just two times the rest. What is the issue with this? Um, you're obviously split again because you don't know how the how the hell you want to engage and why. If you didn't have coal here, it would be mega bad because then your Moira can't be building coal. So I didn't mean to skip ahead, but whatever. Like, what is this engage? I don't think you know where you want to go when you're engaging. Like... Yeah, we just kind of split. Okay, what is the issue with how you try to brute force your way in? There's one issue, and it has to do with something Dino mentioned earlier. I don't know. It's just, it's just one word. He's talking about kill boxes. You kind of run <laughs> straight through their kill box. Look, their Kree sitting perma off angled. Like, I don't even know where their Torb went at this point. But here's vibing somewhere. Should and we then, just like, should we just speed right behind speed right and go? I would them. speed right side. And you could go even behind like them. force point then yeah. kill them. Or you could even just come like I don't know what they will do. But like you kinda just like run into their whole team and then expect shit to die. Like I mean it it would work if they didn't have eight ults. But like ult tracking. Um Once again, why are you like kind of just AFKing here for like five seconds? Like you guys have no idea what you're doing. You don't know how to win, and that's what I'm looking at. Wait, did we just run right there and then not keep going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see. We don't need the. <laughs> no, I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, okay, diva bomb, but like, I don't know, like. I feel like there's many opportunities to kind of do something, but I guess not. Like, honestly, if their Diva Bomb was here, I would have just said, fuck it, and keep on walking. Keep going, like, yeah. Yeah. Diva Bomb does nothing if it's behind you. Oh, like, it only go. does something Bye. when you allow it to be Bye. where you Bye. want to play. That's it. What did he say? He, he has to go. head out. Ah, goodbye. Oh, I didn't mean to do Ooh, that. that Chris? Mm-hmm. Chris is our backup main tank. He is new. Alright, is this, this all making sense to people? People. Yeah. Hello? Yes. yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. Alright, do you want the other code? Um, I think I just want to look at um wait, do we have actually can I do the other one later? I'm already half an hour late and I have to do something. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, not probably a different day. I'm fine with that. Later tonight, but I can send you the code. We I, we can look at another map right now without you. We'll just look at like double, and I can explain that. Yeah, but sure. I'll send you the code for. I want you to look at Busan. 
Yeah. Me? Yeah. Like, okay. I'm gonna do it with us, so you don't have to. I'll look at it eventually. I'll send notes, maybe. You can just watch it and just send me the notes or something. Yes, yeah, probably what I do. Alright. I'll see you. Any questions before I head out? Mm, I think I'm good. Uh, Speak I, now, forever. Hold I just don't really teams. know my role in the team. Like I'm, I play DPS, right? I was playing mm -hmm. Tracer Reaper. I didn't really know what my role was. Like I know doing damage is part of my role, but I didn't know like what else. Okay. Yeah, Marco. Marco's new. Marco, we did tryouts like literally last weekend. So. Marco. All right. Um. Okay. Very simple. If you're in in the second map, if you're playing Tracer, sorry, in if if you're on Ruins and you're playing Tracer. What is your engaged targets? Whatever my tank dives, because since they had a McCree. I meant it's BAP. Um, yeah. But you would go to the side, you would go behind them, and then you would set up to kill BAP. In Chaser and Six Men, a lot of your job is pinching. Do you know what pinching is? Yeah, I know like the setup stuff. I try to do that, but I just feel like I didn't have enough time to set up at times. No, nah, they had... So, they were running Torb Cree, so... Honestly, we just should have went Reaper. He did, they were, they but then you didn't at. like actually get a real fight. But yeah, that's not. Right. Yeah, I think I called that, but I called it late. Like on the Numbani map, I was setting up. Like I, I could actually set up on that map. Yeah, we played. We, I honestly didn't even want to watch Numbani attack because we actually played it really well. But Numbani defense, we kind of fucked up. But. Actually, I'm gonna we'll head out now. Okay. All right, Clay. Yeah. Bye. Any other questions before I go? All right, cool. I'm gonna head out. See you guys. See if, feel free to DM me or some shit mm -hmm. if you actually have other things to say. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna head out. Peace. I'm gonna look at. Hanamore was good. Hanamore was good. We just took a while to figure out what we were going to do. Um, I'm going to pull up Havana. Uh, Sorry, I can't talk. I'm still on camper, and um, I'm really tired. I did, like, about, like, a lot of assignments. It's okay. Tomorrow... Here, get ready to get, get ready, get ready for this VOD juice, because I'm not trying to pick on you here, but I'm about to show you how to be an alpha chatter as a gamer. Okay. Uh, you trying to ego me? No, I'm not trying to ego uh, you. I'm. I'm... Damn. Is he coming back? Yeah, there really? we go. Okay. Uh, no, but like, I kind of have to go. I need to do some shit. I'm sorry. Can you watch? Can you watch like five minutes or something? I just want to show you something. Body view with my actual coach. Okay, just here. Um. Where are we? This is so that I I I'm I think that you're scared to push up because you don't trust other people to keep you alive. Trust Zach. Yeah. So we're going to distill in Zach to stop mouse wanting. Yeah. He's I, not. I played a, yeah. Uh, he's I not. Played, he's no, not no, no, no. cracked enough I yet. Played... I swear, I played comp, and it literally clicked into my brain on how to do it. Yeah, so, like, like right here, here, like, this is, this is one thing. Like, I, this is a reoccurring theme that I saw here on this map, is we're, we're pushing up, we're pushing up. You gotta, you gotta just, like, right here where you put your shield. Farther. You need to put. You need to see how much space they're giving us, and you need to put your shield right here. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I yeah, I know. I swear, I know how like shields work. Like I literally was playing comp on Blizzard World. Uh huh. Or, I don't remember the map, but like, like I literally clicked into my brain. Like, oh, I know how to play Arissa now. Yeah. Like, my friend who's like Jim. Dude, like, just watch. You this long to realize. Dude, just watch. Hard. Just watch some like super when super streams and plays Arissa. Because it literally has no, showed no, no. me how to play Arisa. I was watching, I was watching, I was rewatching Custa, 
Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I love watching. Games. Yeah, I love watching those. And I was watch and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. See, they see nine here because they suck, but like, right here, like right here. Um. I can put my shield. You you like, you put shield. Here. Yeah, you put shield on cart. Your shield should be actually inside of their Arissa shield. Yeah, I got you. And then this. So okay. Um. And then another quick one was I'm not trying to bully you. It's just because you have to leave. So this is something that I was talking to a Sweeta last night, which we need to go over. Like Sweeta and I need to. Sweeta needs to do this without even saying. Like once we cap point here, we need Sweeta and I. We went over this. We need the off angle, like the Zen, me, maybe Ash. And it makes it gives it relieves you of so much pressure. Yeah, I hear you. Because uh right here, I don't know how you die here. This is actually crazy. Oh, it's cause Zach fell off and he just decided to stop playing the game. Okay. All right. Um no no no. I, I actually I I was trying to find a specific example. No, no, you're fine. Um Oh, right here, right here, right here. So Zach, I watched this and I was upset because Zach let you die. But right here, you just like here. Where are you? Put it up farther. Yeah, I you you drop shield here. This is this is this is why, and this is crazy how we lose this. Um, I actually, it's not fully your fault why we lose this. Um, okay. but if can you, you put shield I can guess. here. I mean, you don't have to guess. You'll see what happens. We get a pick. I get, we get two picks. Okay, Zach just... Wait, replay that. No, Zach has lamp and also... No, I'm just going to... Bu I'm bullying Zach right now because Zach's going to watch this. No, I'm going I'm gonna to bully Zach and make him watch this. So, because Zach's going to watch this. Zach, on this rotation, on this rotation here... You doing this, you mouse wanting like this, you're throwing. You need to be, you, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but Zach, you need to be in between the Torb and the Arissa right here. Like you're you're playing too scared. And I know that people have probably told you like, oh, when you're playing main, like when you're playing flex support, you want to sit in the back of the map and be safe. Like, Not for a bad player, no, more that the only hero that you want to sit in the back and be safe with is Anna. When you're playing BAP, I want you inside Arissa's ass. Because right here, right here, you're scared of taking poke. And you jump away. For good reason. You have 100 health. You could die instantly. But if, if you're sitting right behind Arissa, Arissa can walk up. They don't have to be scared about putting down their shield. And I think here you just got distracted seeing. Um, I think Sweeta had like half health. You got distracted here and decided to try to heal Sig I was uh, full instead health. of the Arissa right in front of you. I was full health. And uh, you let Juice die. And you lost us the fight. Because if Juice doesn't die, look how weak these people get. Like, first of all, you're not with Torb. You never lamp, and you're just kind of AFK. Like, if you if you lamped ever, if you if you healed anyone ever, we actually win that fight because Sweeta and I kill three, and you let like the whole point on this point specifically is you three go there, us three go here, and. Um, while you guys have the frontline damage, you can eat up, soak up damage. We have the three people on the team that do the most DPS, literally shooting them in the butt. And all you have to do, like, I will, I'll say, Zach, honestly, when you're playing BAP, don't even, don't even worry about mouse wanting breaking shields. Just make sure you people stay alive because we're not playing at the level where that extra damage that you can do as BAP is going to make a difference. All we need to do is just make sure we're stacked on top of each other and you need to be behind Arissa because 
I mean, I will say, Juice, you could have maybe hugged the wall a little better, but also Zach was just like, Zach, you need to be more aware of what you were doing there. Can I do my homework now? Yeah, so just the only thing for you in that example, Juice, was just like... Just hug left side. No, and, and, and like, you put shield here, just save shield for here. That shield, yeah, get I this shield gets you. so much value. I hear just, you. And next time we scrim... um. Next time we scrim and we play double shield stuff and we play like actual brawl stuff, just we're just gonna go in faster. Like what Clay said before, that's what I was saying last night when I was looking at some of this stuff. I'm like, it's a scrim, let's just int. And if we go in too early, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because we're just scared. Right. Um, it seems like we're scared to do anything. All like right. if you if you die, it it could be your fault, but it could be someone else's fault, and we just need to see it. Okay, do your homework. Dude, I, I'm still at school, bro. I'm about to leave it at eight. <laughs> but this, it's actually insane that we lost this fight. I wasn't really feeling my aim that day, so I do apologize. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's it. Like, if you get widow diffed by somebody that's 600 SR higher than you, it's it it just it doesn't it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. But when you went tracer, I don't know if you noticed, like, you forced them on tour, but you were you were rolling them. So don't worry about that. Like, you actually you rolled them on tracer. You you're actually the your your game sense of when they go in on tracer more most of the time you go the right the at the right time i think there was a funny thing i just want to look at I think I later in so. i want to look at this because wait is it this oh, it's, it's like when the, you, yeah it's this you made this great play here right I could have escaped no 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 you didn't look like you make this great play here you kill widow she comes up or do you just kill her she comes uh, yes, up she you make this up. great play you shit on widow right this is what you need to do. I should just chill out. This is what you need to do. Triple blink out. No, 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 no. Don't triple blink away. Don't do this. Don't triple blink through their team. Don't, don't triple blink. What, what are they going to do? Like, you're sitting up here, right? Yeah. You're sitting up here? Who's going to kill you? Bap? Uh, no, no. Like, Bap could, yeah, yeah like, Bap could definitely, statement. Bap could definitely kill you. But you have three blinks, and you don't have recall yet. You 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 just. I think I, I like. First of all, you have pulse. You can you can fuck shit up, but like I think here you got like you got the value, and then you panicked. I don't know where the torb turret is here. But like literally, all you need to do is instead of trying to triple blink out like that, just blink. A, you can like blink across. You can maybe try to go on him when you're trying to get the safety, but you're in you're in no rush to leave. Yeah. Because the only person that's gonna pressure you out is Bap and when Widow comes back and she just died. Like Zen can't really pressure you out if you're further back on the high ground. Um and you could just chill and just survive. Um because what you did was you you made a play, you took the advantage, you got a pick. And now their team is like, oh shit, there's a tracer in our back line. And the first thing you do is like, okay, time to get out. It's like there's no there's nothing forcing you to get out. I think you I know? pulse bomb you. Yeah. I think you pulse bomb and then they just blow you up because Yeah. I ended up missing and uh... Oh no, they lamp it. They lamp it. You would have killed Bap. I think. Yeah, you would have killed Bap. He lamp he lamped it. Um but yeah, see, you you kind of just exist. Like that play, this pulse bomb play is fine. But you went in too fast. Like you don't have recall yet. Yeah, I should have waited for recall. So you could either in the like I know after you got that widow kill, you can recall um right away, or you can just be like, because you know where everyone is in that situation, you could just be like, hey, I'm up here, throw me orb. Um, so you could still have recall, but you recalling there is fine because you didn't necessarily need it. That pulse bomb play is really good if you were able to recall up back here and not die <laughs> because yeah. it's like you get lamp out and then guess what? 
guess who's back on high ground again and can just shoot down and annoy people and and also when you're trying to escape on tracer you don't need to escape back to the team you just need to escape somewhere else like you can just go here there's a health pack you can go here there's a health pack um you could you know you have all these areas where you like your tracer you're self-sustainable you don't exactly need to get back to the team um that's honestly like the only thing i've noticed with you is just when you're tracer you can be more independent i do understand why you switch off here because they do have this annoying shit but also like based on where the turret is like if you get around you just sit here you just like sit in these areas and you just annoy people um especially if you don't feel comfortable going up against a widow that's just like better and that's not I'm not trying to sh <laughs> shit on you like this person just has played more widow than you yeah. like this person's a loser they they like the click heads so <laughs> just just uh, remember that you're cooler than this person playing widow right now <laughs> i think i switched off the widow here yeah um but like you don't right but i just couldn't I, yeah I she damaged but i could contest her individually yeah it was it was um I'm pretty sure we ended up losing this because we just eventually took too much poke. Um, we could always, like, what's good here, like, we could, Sombra could work here. Widow's obviously good. If you play Hanzo, Hanzo would be really good here. Um, Kree's, like, not very good. Uh, but, like, Hanzo, um, Sombra could work just if how you would play Sombra in this situation would just be like, okay, I stand right here or, or I stand here and I just farm EMP off their tanks. But um, there it's, it's weird because widow, this map is such a widow centric map where we could either commit to playing this, uh, playing this style um, or totally mix it up. But then, so here as a, a team thing, we're just too split. Like, we're not, like, see how, see how Juice, this is, this is kind of annoying. Um, this is something that Juice, I mean, he was just saying that he, he's been working on. But Juice needs to just put his shield up further. Like, Juice needs to put his shield here. Especially when we have Lamp. He, he, his shield blows up and we, this is again Zach's fault because he lamps late like he needs to realize like he needs to see like the because the shield isn't very good we wasted gold um so he's just gonna die like we we actually yeah we wasted gold there and he just died like juice juice going here when juice could have just went here like if juice put, if juice goes here he doesn't die but he, he comes out in the open. And it's his fault, but it's also like, yeah, we're fluxing. We we have, we I don't know. Yeah, I think we didn't realize how much damage we we're going to take there. Um, like, just again, what Clay was saying before. Um, this, this, there, this, this third point sucks, but there is natural cover. And then a lot of times I was saying when we were playing, I was like, guys, let's go around the back because we kept losing fights because they just kept killing us when we're walking up the street. Like, we don't need to do that. We can just go this way. And they have, like, we stand behind Sigma. He, he uses shield. We stand behind Sigma. He uses hands. And then look, we throw a Rissa shield deep. And now we're here. And we have a Sigma shield too. Like, we're just... The rotations are slow and they're giving us space we're not taking and that's just like honestly our only issue with double shield we just need to um we need to play it like more brawly ish like we're just kind of poking when like if you think about it they're running double shield too they're poking we're poking them um we have pretty much the same amount of spam and they're beating us because they're 
taking this space and they're fighting us close. So if if instead of Juice coming here, like this angle, the whole team can shoot at him. If we come here as a team, they have to peek out wide. Everybody has to peek out wide if they want to shoot our tanks, which is kind of dumb because that lets me, who would probably be here, and it would probably be like me and Sigma kind of chilling here and, and Torb when we have Orisa like actually trying to take the space. So that, that, that map was just like us losing a lot of time really fast. Um, and not like we just we just kind of beat ourselves because we would get picks we would um we would get picks and we would just like not go and here they just eventually kind of like this 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 is bad like we're trying to push up main like we don't need to push up main we we can just push here uh my bad you can't see my cursor we can just push from here because what that does is we don't need to we don't need to waste a rissa shield to push up um but when we push up here we use a rissa shield we use hands uh we use six shield and we're just out in the open when if we just went from here we're already we would be coming out here which is further than where we are here but we would still have Sigma hands. We would be able to put Arisa shield further, and I'm assuming Suida doesn't have a full shield. No. So that's annoying. Noise. Why is that happening? Is, okay. Uh, Suida even here? I'm Suida's here, yeah. Here. Yeah. So there is just... This is the stuff that like I've been harping about, and what's frustrating me is like, these are things that we don't need to, like, we shouldn't have to say. Like, we should just follow each other and know, like, because we're not in gold and we're like, we're not in plat. Like, we should know, like, hey, we've played these maps for hundreds of hours. Like, where is the place where they sh everybody aims? Where is the place where everyone's spamming? It's right where we are. Like, why why don't we take literally no extra time to just go this way? And it's like, boom, Sig Shield up here. We would have seen Widow. Sig Shield up here on Widow. Widow can't do anything. Uh, we walk forward. Sig hands. We take all this space. We get on top of them. And then Arissa drops Shield. And then we're literally in their ass. And then, and then it's like drop window in their face. Like this is the thing with like what I'm trying to say with Zach is like when you're playing BAP, if you're right by Arissa, like obviously if you're playing uh on this map with bap like you want to sit here you don't want to sit directly behind Arissa out in the open so when her shield breaks you die but like you want to be right there because it's like boom when i window i can put it deeper and i can just get value like everything seems like everything seems like three seconds three steps behind like we just need to be more assertive we need to take take the advantages they're giving us because i mean like what they're doing here is kind of just i think that they just win the fight because okay they kill the widow that's just unfortunate like they just poke they just kind of just poke us out um we're not walking up this is our fault um i think we're scared of the widow but we just we need to go um this is actually good. This is a really good shield. Like, this shield is so good. This shield is so good. Um, but we're just not up there, so we um, use trans. But we could have easily killed Arissa. We just weren't up there, and that's my fault. I'm, I'm further back. I think we're just getting poked out by spam, which, again, if we were just here, all of this, we, we just we would have been grouped up better. Um, I think that this is bad that Juice backs up. Um,
We can just we're sweeter. Okay, you're just shooting him in the ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, we push up with trans. Like here, we're 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 again like not pushing up, which is like we have transcendence and, and we're not pushing up. This Look at where my shield is, homie. I was I was trying to push, but they are like in us. And again, Zach is just in a kind of funky, bad spot. Be here. He's just like out in the open. Um, I think we lose this fight. What happens? Oh, we call Sig. I think we call Sig here. Okay, Zach just tunnel visions and doesn't heal anyone. But okay, that's unfortunate. That that is weird because we came at him from other angles, but I think that Zach kind of just wanted to kill him when again, like just keep everyone alive. We when we play better people, you can worry about dealing damage. Cause if we if we had literally one more shot each from mm -hmm. BAP and we're like practically on top of each other, Sweet and I, you could heal us all with one shot. We both live and we win that fight. And we, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's rough. And then I think on defense, defense is just us. Playing this Pharah comp, I think Ryan is better, but Arissa is really not that bad. Like Arissa is not bad. I think Ryan is a little better, but the thing is with the Arissa is you should be playing the Arissa like you would the Ryan. Um, like I'm pretty sure we just give them space and I just get poked out, and that's how we lose. Yeah, like I, I'm literally in like the safest place you can be. Um, and we just, we know where they're coming. And it's just like, here, Juice is here. Um, Marco's here. I don't know where Zach is. Zach's here. Like, we're here. When we shield, like, when we're spawn holding, there's no reason why we shouldn't just be hugging this wall the whole time like that's what you do with ryan i mean we could next next time we can just do it with ryan but i i genuinely do think that the pharah that sits on top of the point is more oppressive than the may because i mean if these guys are here you guys are kind of like just not gonna die because Sweet is here pushed up. Sweet is in the right spot. You three just need to be like here. Um, because what just what it does again is, I mean, in the future we can do it with Ryan if it's easier. But the only reason why we want to try the Arissa is you, we don't have the Lucio because we have the Mercy. And you can still get like the value when you're rotating and shooting with like supercharger. Um, but if if we're here, we're just distracting these people. And if we had maybe a few more seconds, I would have just grapple shots me because these people in the back are just not pressured at all. Like the only people that are showing their faces to the team are their tanks. And the whole point is we want to be in their face and kind of be like, yo, we brawling. But the whole time we have a Farah and a Mercy who most of the time shouldn't die. I mean, 
I can probably have been on this side of the roof. Um, that's my fault. But still, it's the that's the thing. Like the only person who can kill me here is the fair is the widow. And um if we were able to pressure her out a little more, I don't think she would have killed me. And then I just die. And then we kind of just lose because we're just oh yeah, because they, they then they poke out race. And then we finally push up. Because I think we were like, yo, push up, push up. But it's too late. Um because literally the instant we push up, we kill people. Like Marco kills someone, this Arissa's fucking dead. They don't have lamp. But we lose a few, so it's just over. Like, what Juice does here is great. He throws the shield behind Arissa. Arissa can't get healed. Like, um, if imagine just doing that when you peek around the corner. Like, when we know they're coming here. Imagine you're just like, okay, you knew the Sigma was here, and you knew Arissa was here. Imagine if you're our Arissa, and you just throw your shield here, and then BAP can't do anything. <laughs> so... That's that's the thing. Is is when we're spawn holding, we need to like actually hold the spawn and not hold the cart. Because I mean that's why every single escort map people spawn trap on like once like people spawn trap on Rialto, people spawn trap on Root. It doesn't happen as much, but people do it. Um because you have to come out of spawn. And you can't sneak past and cap a point. You have to move the cart. So there's there's no reason why you shouldn't. Why it's big, bigger of a deal on this map is because you should always do it because every single time you play a ladder game, the first fight starts here. And it takes the cart, a whole team fight, like a whole, everybody coming back from spawn to get it to here. So as long as we know, like, if we're going to lose the fight, we all just need to die instantly. Um, but that's something we can worry about later. The, the the biggest thing was just like, we're holding spawn and we're not hugging this wall. And that's just why we lost. Because, yeah, there's Zens here. whoop de doo Sweeta can just DM him in Scaremore. If, we, if we're pushed up against this wall, they never, they probably never kill me. And, uh, we get at least one more team fight out of it. Like, we're not trying to full hold them in spawn. We're just trying to take time out of it. That's the whole point. It's just we need to be more aggressive. I was about to mention, like, uh, up against that wall, it, if, if they push you kind of hard, you can fall back to those pumps that can you can get a bit more cover from there as well. Well, if, they, if, if they're pushing you, if they, yeah, if they push you out when, you're, when they're playing at that corner, um like i'm just saying when you're like kind of low and yeah when you, if if you're if you're playing where i said like at that corner where they are yeah you can push back and you can play behind cart or, or by the pumps and if they come out the if you're pushing them out there and they come out that door um you can just hide behind you can just like hide in their spawn <laughs> like the whole thing is wow. we were the whole like not in their spawn just like behind that that wall or or, or cart again like the whole thing is we we were hiding behind our secondary cover. We were hiding behind where, like, we were playing where we're supposed to kite mm -hmm. instead of us playing where we should have played further up. Um, and it just, I mean, we get some kills and we win the fight, but they regroup faster. It is what it so. is. But as long as you learn from it and then you can just adjust yourself for next time, that, that's what's, what's important. Yep, that's and what then realize, like, oh on. yeah, we don't want to make the same mistake again. Let's let's move here. Yep. That's, so we, that's what we're gonna work on. That's what I hope that the vods and stuff will help us. Yo, look at these replays, guys. Look at this. This is fun. This is Overwatch. Oh, you Overwatch? I don't know. Personally, when you're like me, you go on ten game win streaks a lot, but you also go on like eight game losing streaks a lot. Four game loss, six game win. Easy. Yeah. Go. Happens. Alright, um, if that's it, I'm gonna end the recording right here.